corporate greed, a war economy, and unfair taxation. The whole world is watching! Just a few of the slogans that covered D.C. this fall, as an Occupy movement spread from Wall Street to Freedom Plaza and to the Key Bridge. An early gripe against the Occupy movement? Stand up, fight back! Lack of focus. Although the season has changed, confusion remains. Yet an underlying call for equality is still there. The Occupy movement moved here to D.C. in early October, living in tents just like this across from City Hall. It's snowing today. It's cold. But they say they're not going anywhere. Oh, we're not leaving. To get corporate money out of politics. Today is yet another Occupy event. Many say it can be confusing trying to figure out which protest is which. On the 20th was Occupy Congress, on the 21st was Occupy the Supreme Court, and today is Occupy the Corporations. Protesters are here from all over, like Gregory Hicks, who says he has a financial background from the Chicago Board of Options Exchange. Although some, like California tell, Congressman Daryl Issa, want the occupiers out kicked out. Under the legal terminology is a 24-hour vigil. That's the permit that we have from the National Park Service in pursuit of our First Amendment rights. Sherrod and Shabaka are here from Atlanta. Once they were adversaries. I'm a blood. I'm a crip. Now they say they're united. It's 2012. You feel me? Yeah. If people are still going under the basis that if you wear a certain color, then we're enemies, then that's totally ignorant. No, totally you know what ignorant. I mean? It's not even about that anymore. It's about coming together. And they are coming together around the idea that millions of Americans are saying they feel left out. What they want is to share the wealth, the 1% to share with the rest of the 99%. I'm Angela Scott in Washington, D.C.